Welcome to the global defense arena, where South Korea is advancing its KF-21 Boramae fighter jet with three new variants aimed at expanding its capabilities and market appeal. The KF-21 EA variant prioritizes electronic warfare, featuring specialized stations for electronic warfare officers and advanced jamming technology. Meanwhile, the KF-21 EX variant seeks to achieve fifth-generation fighter status through internal weapon bays for reduced radar visibility and advanced munitions capacity. For international markets, the KF-21 SA variant offers customizable options while maintaining core performance standards. Challenges such as technological feasibility and funding requirements persist, compounded by geopolitical considerations following South Korea's reassessment of joint development with Indonesia. Nevertheless, these efforts underscore South Korea's commitment to fortifying national defense and enhancing global competitiveness in the defense sector through the evolution of the KF-21 program. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share for more updates on global defense developments. Global Defense News. India has faced challenges with leasing nuclear submarines from, from Russia, resulting in early returns. In the late 1980s, the Soviet Union leased the Charlie-class INS Chakra to India, but it was returned early in 1990 due to strict operational limitations and technical problems. In 2010, India leased the Akula-class NERPA, renamed INS Chakra, which also encountered significant maintenance issues, uh, leading to its return in 2021 before the lease ended. Despite these difficulties, India and Russia continue to maintain a robust military partnership, reflecting their strategic alignment and cooperation. This ongoing collaboration underscores the importance of their, their relationship, especially in the context of global geopolitical shifts and the impact of Western sanctions on Russia. Thanks for reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Welcome to Global Defense. The National Interest reports that three B-2 Spirit bombers from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri have been deployed to Anderson Air Force Base in Guam to participate in the Valiant Shield 24 exercise. This is the first deployment of B-2s to Guam since 2019. Accompanied by Marine Corps F-35Bs, the B-2s took part in a significant show of force exercise alongside various U.S. Air Force aircraft and international allies. This deployment comes after the B-2 fleet was grounded due to an incident in 2022. Anderson AFB, along with RF Fairford in the UK and Diego Garcia, are key strategic bases for B-2 operations, providing necessary support and climate-controlled hangars to maintain the bomber's stealth coatings. These bases are expected to continue playing a crucial role with the future B-21 Raider bomber, which will replace the B-2 and B-1 bombers in the coming decade. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. China has sanctioned several Lockheed Martin subsidiaries and senior executives due to U.S. arms sales to Taiwan. These sanctions include freezing assets of executives such as Chairman James Donald Teichlet and prohibiting their entry into China. The affected subsidiaries are Lockheed Martin Missile System Integration Lab, Lockheed Martin Advanced Technology Laboratories, and Lockheed Martin Ventures. This move continues China's pattern of responding to U.S. staff military support for Taiwan. Since 2021, China has used its anti-foreign sanctions law to legitimize such retaliatory actions against foreign sanctions. Welcome to the complexities of global defense dynamics. For more updates and insights, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay informed. Share this information with others interested in global affairs.